Hi guys! So last time I proved how hippie I was with my kombucha brewing skills, I'd like to take it one step further and talk to you about sprouting. So I started sprouting not that long ago actually, probably like two or three months ago, and it's been one of the best decisions of my life. It's super cheap, it's super easy, and it's way good for you. Um, sprouts actually have, and depending on which uh, resource you use, like 10 to 100 times more nutritious value than the seed, the grain, or the vegetable in its full grown state. So my personal favorites are um, a mixture of uh, radish, alfalfa, and broccoli. And my newest favorite is sunflower seeds. That's right, you can actually sprout a seed. So let's go into why you would want to do that. There's some science that would say that there's enzyme inhibitors which makes it really hard for your body to break down. I'm not sure if that's true or not true. All I can tell you is amazing addition to your salad. It's super crunchy and it's way nutritious. So, how do you do it? You'll need to buy your sprouts um, from a reputable source, organic, clearly. I get mine from the Sprout House off of Amazon. And then I use something called the Easy Sprouter. The reason I use this is because it's literally probably the easiest thing I've ever done. Like the name definitely fits the product. So you take your seed or your uh, salad variety or you can even do a legume like a lot of people do lentils. Lentils are probably the easiest thing to sprout. They sprout in 24 hours. Um, but for whatever reason I stick with the seeds and the salad variety. So you take your seed, you put it in, depending on what you're sprouting, um, it'll tell you how much you can use for a salad variety. You do a fourth cup seed and then you soak it overnight with your water. The next morning you wake up and the easy spider, it just drains. Then you put it down, put your lid on and let it sit until that evening. Then the evening comes in and you fill it up with water, let it sit there for five minutes, drain it again. And in three days, you do the same thing. So water in the morning, water at night, water in the morning, water at night. And on the third day when you wake up, you'll see a little sprout at the end of your um, at the end of your thing. So these are actually sunflower sprouts, sunflower seed sprouts, which are seriously so good. I couldn't help myself. Um, let's talk about if you decide you want to do it even more crunchy granola. You would use a mason jar. It's the exact same thing. You take your jar, you put your seeds in the bottom, cover it with water. You would want to cover it with something that allows air to pass through, but nothing to get in. Sit it there overnight, you wake up in the morning, whatever you're covering your thing, you would drain it, keep the seed in there, and the same process, add water in morning and night, and then between, depending on what you're making, 24 to three days later, you have your amazing sprouts. So just some ideas of besides putting sprouts in your salad, so you can add them to your smoothies. I hope my daughter's not watching, but I actually add sprouts to her smoothies, so she doesn't really realize, but she's getting a bunch of nutrition in what she calls her ice cream. So anyhow, those, that is Sprouting 101. Feel free to comment or leave me any questions if you want to know. But it's cheap, it's easy, and it's nutritious. Bye, guys!